Nick. Gary, how you doing today? You're welcome around with Rob and Nick out in New Jersey here. What do we got? Two Rob and did you say Rob? Yeah, Rob, Rob is my father on the son, Nick. Okay, so we have Rob and Nick, father and Jersey? son in New Jersey. Where in Jersey? We're located in Manville, right off the uh, Somerset Circle. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know it well. Yeah, yeah, we know Somerville. Awesome, man. How are you guys? Gary, if we were any better, there'd be two of us. So we're, we're fortunate. Actually, if we were any better, I'd have to sit on my hands to keep from clapping. Thanks for asking. That's awesome. That's awesome. Guys, what can we help you with? So, Gary, this is, we're just, our question is, is a broad one, but I'll, I'll narrow it for you. Are we on the right track? We're a voting safety business out of New Jersey, and uh, we do education. So we're focused on building our business and taking it bigger. We're already doing Facebook ads. We're doing... We're going to be moving on to Instagram ads. We're getting our, our website updated. So we just want to know if we're on the right track. We have 15 instructors teaching all over the state. We run about 200 classes a year. So, I mean, what else can we be doing better? We, we have all the multimedia tools to tell our story online. Um, I mean, I, I, think, I think with just two of us, it's really just two or three of us in the office right now running about... 200 classes a year. So, I mean, it's, are we on the right track? We're, well, so I think, I think the question becomes, what, where do you want the finish line to be on that track? You have to work backwards if you're on the right track or not, how, right? How old is he? How, how old is he? Yeah. How, how old are you? So I'm 24 and my dad is 50, 57. 57. Young crew, okay. Young guy. So I think, I, I think the question is the, tr the track, right? Like, when you say, are we on the right track, are you asking, are we spending our money in the best optimal places to maximize our short-term growth? Yeah, my dad's, my dad's on his head, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, so I think, you know, listen, I think I think dad to dad here can talk. That's the advantage of having my dad here. I think the question becomes, are you guys, Nick, are you, are you in a dynamic where you guys, like you believe in this? At, dad, are you looking for the obvious black and white ROI? Like w what's, whether it's friction or, or optimism, like I assume that's the question. That's the cliche, cliche question, right? Which is, is the ROI in this paying the dividends? I think to my dad's credit here, um, there's a story that is so insane having my dad here. My dad approved a wine spectator year by for, I came to my dad and I said, Dad, I want to buy this spot in the Wine Spectator magazine, which, don't forget, you guys all know me, I love trading attention. And I felt the entire attention of the wine business was in the Wine Spectator on this one page where they had pictures of the labels and the scores and there was an ad spot on the right. And the ad, the ad for the yearly cost of the ad was so much money, it was basically almost equal to our profit the year before. Well, it actually was to be uh, exact numbers, $192,000 what I sent the check out of my personal account to Marvin Schenken, the one spectator. Because we didn't even have the cash flow. We didn't have the cash flow, and I believe, well, I believe uh, in my son from day one. You know? But that's bonkers shit to but me. But what I did, I, you know, I always, I always willing, not only because of Gary, I always was willing, and correct me if, uh, you know, I always was willing to invest in the business. Business always came before. Personal. Personal. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you didn't yeah. buy shit. Right. You and didn't I, vacation for shit. Right. You and I put dollars into the business. Into the business. So I think, guys, I think the thing that, you know, what, what's the, what are, Nick, what's your, is that, that's your name and your, what's your dad's name? Robert. Robert, I think the question is, I'd love for you to answer here. Are you guys trying to, like, what's the scenario here? Are you trusting your son on, like, spending these marketing that's dollars it. in these new environments and that's you're it. trying to get a grasp on what the ROI is? You are absolutely correct right there because I don't know shit when it comes to Facebook and Instagram and anything like that, and I'm trying to get a grasp on it. I get it. So uh, for, first can of all, I go just ahead, jump Dad, in? please. This is Robert, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. As a as a father, you will know better than anybody if. And I don't want to sound like it's a business only business. You you have to. For yourself, you have to say, is my son capable to grow the business or not? That's a very simple question, and it's a very simple answer. 
Nobody can answer this question for you, not even my genius son who <laughs> sits next to me, uh, because you have to know if your son is capable and he going to take your business to the next level, or your son, no disrespect, is a schlemiel. That's it. So it's a very, you know, cut binary. It, black and white. And that's it. You after you hang up, you go you go in to the bathroom and uh, you know look in the mirror and say, yeah, I believe in my son and I'm going to invest. Or you walk in and say, you know what, I I, I don't think he's capable to do that. That's to me that's Robert. I, I agree with that because the beauty of having a family business is that you're playing forever, right? The big the big wake up call for me when I got into corporate America is that my dad and I for all the things we agreed on, all the things we disagreed on, thank God we loved each other just enough more than we loved the business which allowed us to keep a relationship, but 99% of our energy was always about the business right. for the long term. And so, I think, I think Dad's shooting it right, Robert. I think, I think, you know, it's funny, I'm looking at a lot of my team members, I just make binary decisions if I think they can do it or not, and then I let them win, fail, tweak. Uh, I think it's a, I think you bet against your, I think the real answer, Robert, is you bet on your belief on Nick's capabilities or whoever else could be driving this to a level that you can afford. Clearly in hindsight, I was so confident, I just thought, who wouldn't bet on me, I was blind, but in hindsight, my dad using his own personal money, putting back into the business to make an advertising bet is the ultimate belief in what I was I'm sure there's a lot of mom and dads out there that are watching that might be willing to spend 20% of the profits as a bet because they don't know yet. I did a lot of things from zero to 22 to give my dad confidence, not just after intuition. I came in and did things that we had a real, No question right? about so, $80,000 I spent on the Jets bullshit billboard. booklet. Booklet, booklet it yeah. was, uh, garbage. You know, garbage. I need to be on the sideline. That's but it. at a macro, That's I right. was delivering. That's right. That's it. So, That's right. I, Robert, I think it's a binary question. I think dad's exactly right. Too many people ticky-tack it. I think it's a, it's a binary question of what's the allocation of dollars that you want to support Nick's vision and then whatever that is, write it off. That's it. If, it, if he fails, because you know that Nick will learn from that and take it to the next step. A f bet on what you can afford to lose mentally as much as financially and I think you'll be in the right position. Make sense? We are in a position where we're crushing it right now based on the previous year's uh, okay. you know, income and we definitely need to do more. We haven't done shit with Facebook or anything. So my question to you is, will this Facebook and Instagram be able to take us higher? You tell me. What are you spending on your, what are you spending your money on now? Google AdWords. To what? The tune of about 15 grand a year. Um, yes. So, and what is that creating for you? It's creating, uh, you know, tons and tons of uh, leads. leads, which ultimately the people come in and take our boating safety classes over the other companies who actually aren't even using Google right. AdWords. So Robert, here's the thing that I would answer. I would say most likely no. However, if Nick is good enough to produce a video and spend $3,000 on amplifying it against employees of or the target segment, because he figured that out, his $3,000 video, his $3,000 ad spent on Facebook and his $1,000 video cost on a local production company could bring you the value of spending $15 million on Google if he hits it right and it creates virality, or he could completely put that $5,000 directly in the trash if it doesn't. Okay. So if you're a conservative player, my intuition is no. If you're on the pure offense, and you know, look, Nick, uh, Richard, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I, Robert. Uh, Robert, I, uh, you know, I view you at 57 as young. I don't know where your head's at. I know a lot of 57 year olds who want to play golf for the rest of their lives and I know a lot of 50, my dad will die at his desk at Wine Library. That's just money in the bank. And I will do the same yeah. in wherever my desk is. So, you know, to me, betting on Nick for a year, even if it goes to a complete zero, isn't a death blow 
in the marathon that you might be running. If you're trying to maximize dollars right now because you want to buy a beach house in South Carolina and golf in two years, you may stay conservative because you want the dollars. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> I get it, brother. So, look, I think if you're, if you're running the marathon, I think risk is actually practical. Does that make sense? It absolutely is, and I'm not afraid to take it. And, Robert, wow. I'll tell you the other That's thing. Right. There's nothing better than sticking it to your 24-year-old punk son when he thinks he knows everything, and he goes and throws $15,000 in the trash. <laughs> I remind them of shit like that all the time. <laughs> I'm sure. And Nick, I promise you, in reverse, there's nothing like telling people all this crazy shit, like let's have a website, let's do email, and not everybody's sure, but you get the support of your dad, and if you deliver, it becomes the ultimate relationship in life. Absolutely. Thank you so much for taking our call. Yeah. We really Good luck to you guys. It. Take care. Thank you.